development of the M1966 jungle hammock began in July 1966 when USARV requested a lightweight compact hammock for use in Vietnam. The standard model was too heavy, 3 pounds 14 ounces, and too bulky to be carried on combat operations and as a result soldiers frequently slept on the jungle floor. Natick Labs fabricated a prototype 1 pound 6 ounce hammock made from a single layer of nylon fabric that was based on a captured North Vietnamese design. They also procured a 1 pound 8 ounce rectangular nylon fishnet type hammock for commercial sources. 100 hammocks of each design were sent to Vietnam for evaluation in September 1966. And in April 1967, ACTIV recommended that the NVA style model be procured for issue to U.S. forces. The production M1966 hammock was made from a single layer of 100 inches by 34 inch nylon cloth with a draw cord tunnel at each end through which 14 feet of braided rope was passed. An elastic cord with a toggle was attached to each rope which allowed a poncho to be quickly suspended above the hammock for rain protection. Spreader sticks could be inserted into the corner grommets of the poncho to ensure a rain shedding gable ended canopy. Unfortunately, though the nylon fabric used in the production M1966 hammock was sufficiently tight and woven to stop mosquitoes biting through it. It also made the bed virtually waterproof and prevented sweaty skin from drying. Guys, welcome back. And we are out doing an overnighter using the M1966 Hammock Jungle. And uh, it's a work week, so this is gonna be interesting. I'll be up pretty early in the morning. But uh, we are finally getting out and doing the overnight. So I hope you guys are doing great. And I got a little spot over here I'm gonna set up at. But I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up. And while I'm getting everything set up, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the footage or the video that I made two weeks ago, I think it was about two weeks ago, of me setting up this uh, hammock, this jungle hammock. And then uh, we'll go from there. So if you haven't seen that already, go ahead and watch that now. And if you've already seen it, well, you just skip right on into the overnighter. So uh, either way, I'll see you guys here in just a few seconds.
Okay, so as you can see, I had to adjust it once because this tree here is kind of on a, it's up a little higher than this tree here. And it's just a real simple tie you do. You just go around the tree once, go under the, under the, the uh, cord here, go around the tree again. You just make quick release, uh, quick release knot there. If you want to want to do it, but yeah, it's, it's very simple to set up. It's holding <laughs> 240 pounds. Okay, our next step is to attach the poncho. And this is the attaching point here to the poncho. This goes into the uh, middle grommet on the poncho. I'll show you that here in a minute. But this is the device that is on this that the military used to connect the poncho. So that's our next step. This is the toggle that will go into, see right there, into the middle grommet. And that holds the poncho on just on that side. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. The next step is, just put a stick on the end of this grommet to the under end of this grommet here. Now it gives it a pitch on both sides so when it's raining, the rain will come down and not get on you. We're not going to close up the hood. It's not supposed to rain the night. I might just cinch it up, just have it cinched shut to keep the mosquitoes out, but yeah, looking pretty good. Okay. We got both sticks carved. Now all I have to do is put it in the grommets. So we are in the hammock and this thing is really cool, really awesome design by the military. This is what it would, this is what it would look like if you were in Vietnam in one of these is where obviously when I showed you in the beginning or read in the beginning to you guys is uh, where they were tested a year later, it became standard issue. So this is what it'd be like. The jungles of Vietnam. Except the mosquitoes are probably uh, ten times worse. <laughs> My first camic overnight. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back. And uh, it's quite humid out here. It rained a little bit ago. See, my head is soaked. But um, 
Yeah, high of 86 today. It's a low, it's supposed to be a low of like 58 tonight, so it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty awesome. But yes, we're finally getting out and doing this overnighter. It's been a couple weeks in the making, but uh, we're getting out and doing it. And if you check it out, I'm wearing my, which is fitting for this video, my Mac V Sog style type camo here. And we are at my family's property out here, so you can see. Way, way over there. Me and Michael did a little overnighter. And uh, we're just kind of out in this little opening I have over here. And here it is. I just read you guys. The awesome M1966 Jungle Hammock. And this thing is really cool. Well, for all of you that didn't see the setup video the other day, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, Kind of give you some close-ups here of what this looks like, but not really quite sure what these rubber things are for. Maybe you guys might know, not totally for sure. But um, we're pretty much set up for the night. With a little brief history I just gave you guys on this uh, hammock setup that was developed in Vietnam, or I mean, not in Vietnam, but during Vietnam, but it was tested in Vietnam, is that there's no mosquito net <laughs> with it. So uh, that's one thing that I think I would have maybe tried to figure out is how to get a mosquito net in here. And yeah, there's ways you can make your own. You can set up your own way to put a mosquito net in here. But uh, I would it would be kind of nice to have something a little, well, just have something maybe configured into it like they did with the poncho. So that's the only downside I see with this setup. But other than that, this setup is awesome. So with that said, I'm going to get a fire going and from there we'll probably get some dinner going because uh it's like after five o'clock in the evening so like i said this is my work week tonight or this, tomorrow is going to be friday so last day of the week so uh yeah all right enjoy the show guys Nothing better than have your special forces cold steel shovel. <laughs> this thing is a beast. That's some wood left over from uh, me and Mikey's rival's last camp out we did. And uh, it's a bit wet, so that's all right. We'll get it working. Got some uh, Gorilla Tape here.
Okay guys, so we got the fire going and now it's dinner time. And I got a surprise for you guys. We're doing an MRE tonight. And this is menu 24, Southwest style beef and black beans. Look at the price on that. Right there. You can see it there on camera, but $14.98. That's not too bad. I bought these in person at that Rockford surplus store in Rockford, Illinois. If you haven't been there, check that place out. It is really cool. <laughs> um, we're gonna be going there again in about a month. So uh, just get some money saved up. Yeah, if you see these online, just regular MRE, you're gonna spend anywhere from 20 to $30. That's absolutely insane. Save your money, find you a surplus store, you can probably get them a lot cheaper. So, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Here we go. See if I can open it up like you're supposed to. Look at that. <sighs> Look at those MRE uh, shows. Right, here's our contents. All right. I don't think I've ever had this one before. This one here was, if I'm reading it correctly, was produced or was made on the 82nd day of 2018 so 18 19 19 20 20 21 21 22 going on five years old they're still good um, as long as they're properly stored we'll find out <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff in here so we have our heater which these things are absolutely horrible Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. If you overfill them, they're not gonna work. So I think we're gonna use that tonight instead of cook on the fire, but we'll see. Okay, so we have a beef snack. Ooh, <laughs> this is gonna be good. I might do this one in the morning. It's our mocha cappuccino instant powder. That's gonna be good. Cheese spread. Tortillas, Chipotle. <laughs> oh, even better. <laughs> lemon poppy seed pound cake. I have never had this one, I don't think. I've had pound cake, but not the lemon seed. Accessory pack. Man, I don't know if there's any coffee in here. Yeah, there's coffee. Oh, beverage base powder. I think that one's coffee there. No, that's salt. Oh, well. We got the cappuccino. Apple pieces in spiced sauce. And then our South Wheat, or South Wheat, our Southwest beef and black beans. So you can see that is almost just a little, it's, I'm gonna have to actually pour a little bit out. Just a little bit. Boop. Okay, I think we're good. Okay guys, I'm tired of waiting, I'm getting hungry. It's uh, it's kind of warm, but uh, it's probably been at least 30 minutes. 
yeah, I don't like these heaters. They just don't work half the time. It's not too bad. It's not going to be hot, but it'll be warm. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, yeah. Mm, look at them. Except you don't want that. <laughs> Right. So there it is. Yummy. Can't forget to bless the Lord for this. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh man. That is good. I've never had this one before. Oh yeah. That's halfway warm, it's not cold. Well, you can sit here and watch me eat, spill wheel on myself, but I'm not gonna bore you guys, so uh, I'll see you in a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and do the lemon poppy seed pound cake. Here it is. Oh, I just dropped a piece on the ground, that's all right. 10 second rule. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. We are in the hammock, guys. If you can see me here. <laughs> There's the... Uh... Oh, light went out. Well, we are in the hammock, and uh, not really too bad at the moment. We'll see how the next uh, eight hours go here. My camera went, uh, or my light went dead on my little, or <laughs> my light went dead on my light that I have underneath my camera here on the stand, so I gotta use a headlamp, but yep, we are in. So, definitely gonna be an interesting night here. And I will say, but yeah, this hammock, you know, they're really, you see all those newer hammocks they have, uh, you can pull this up over you. This one's, that's it. <laughs> it's like right to my legs, so. Yeah. Get my red light back on here. Ah, there we go. Guys, I will, I will see you guys either tonight or in the morning. So, uh. Here we go, first night hammock camping in the M1966 Jungle Hammock. All right guys, good night, I'm gonna see you in the morning. Hey, it's me guys, I'm back again. I hate to inform you, but we're not gonna make it through tonight. I've been laying here for probably a couple hours now and I have not fallen asleep. I started to fall asleep earlier and it's just like I just can't get there. And it's like, what time is it? See it there? It's 11.19. And I had to work in the morning. <laughs> this, is a, this is a work week. I've never camped out during a work week. Um, it would be one thing, you know, because I usually do have rough nights sleeping at night when I go camping, but I can toss and turn until four in the morning that I can finally fall asleep and I could, I can just get a couple hours of sleep and I'll be fine. No big deal, but when you have to work an hour shift, I just, I can't do that. I won't be able to function tomorrow, so I want to get stuff packed up and uh, I got to head out and try to get as much sleep as I can. And we'll talk tomorrow, probably after work. But uh, I hope this video turns out pretty good, guys. I'm really, I'm really sorry. I tried to do the hammock. I just can't do the hammock during our work week, I guess, because it's just not happening. So I'll see you guys here uh, later on uh, tomorrow. Hello, it's Friday evening, and uh, this is the day after the overnighter. Um, just got off work just a little bit ago, 
And I just want to come tell you guys goodbye uh, for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to do it. I just couldn't sleep and I had to work today and no sleep. And after work, those combinations don't work very well. So <laughs> I apologize, guys. We're going to try it again. But uh, other than that, it was fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we're going to do it again. So no worries there. I will say one thing with this hammock. It's my first time. And uh, I definitely felt exposed just laying in that in the open like that all around me rather than being like on the ground or somewhere I could conceal myself better. So definitely interesting. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try it again. You win some, you lose some, right? So uh, guys, I will see you in the next video. And uh, please leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys thought. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. And uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, see you soon, guys. God bless you. Take care. Bye.